will be going to the uh, town council once we have made a recommendation. And then uh, I didn't know until I met with Kelly uh, tonight uh, that uh, definition. Uh, yes. To update, I just I think this is just one definition. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. So um, currently, so this this amendment is related to. Um, adding a use uh, that we currently define in our definitions, um, but it's not actually in our use table or in any zoning district as a permitted use. Um, so presently the zoning ordinance uh, includes a definition for hospitals, which I have shown up on the screen. Um, <coughs> hospital is not listed as a permitted use in the use table or any zoning district. Um, and recently this has presented a challenge when trying to navigate potential hospital users or developers that want to put in a hospital um, because as you can imagine we don't have an area where they're actually permitted um, so in other words their hospitals are not not permitted right now um, in London's area because we hasn't we haven't designated a district at, in which to allow them. If the only place they're permitted is in the uh, PUD Woodmont Commons. Thank you, yes. Um, and so what staff is recommending is that we update the ordinance, specifically the use table, to include um, hospital as a use in the Gateway Business District. Um, staff believes this is, this is the best district uh, to put this use in. The district currently has um, comparable uses like professional offices which actually include um, medical offices uh, hotels educational facilities laboratories warehouses etc um, the gateway business district is also um, a very specific area of town um, it's a it's a smaller defined area um, whereas other zoning districts while they're organized, they are in multiple um, parts of town, and uh, I'm not so sure that uh, the hospital use would be fitting in uh, those areas. So that's uh, staff's recommendation as, as a solution to um, what I kind of view as a, a formality at this point, given that we have the use defined. It's just a matter of where do we put it? So this has to go to council, town council. That's correct. It's it's a zoning yes. amendment, and we'll have to yeah, go. The planning board will have to have a council. hearing on it, and then it would uh, it would make a recommendation. Then it would go to the town council. <coughs> just just like the last. Uh, Can I ask one more. Yes, certainly, Tony. So uh, it was my understanding. I remember from years back there was an explanation given that may or may not hold water in 2023 because sometimes my brain goes on the way back machine and things have been updated since then but um, I thought that if a use was not on a table anywhere it didn't mean it couldn't be anywhere it mean it meant it could be every anywhere it could be everywhere and I thought that that's what I remember <coughs> that so that's no that's not how our ordinance uh, functions. If, if it's not explicitly cited as a permitted <coughs> use, um, it's viewed as not allowed. Okay. It has to be explicit. Okay. So um, if you could send us what the proposed um, amendment to the verbiage is, uh, Kelly, so the board could. Uh, it's, it's simply adding a. Just, uh, just adding the yes, definition. Yes, it's adding a, a line to the use table. Oh. So do you need a consensus right, or a vote? Right, just adding a line to the table. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Need consensus or do you need, or do you need yeah. a vote? What do you need? So this is all fresh off the press, so. Uh. <laughs> I need a recommendation from the planning board as to wh how you'd like to proceed. <laughs> I think I this would. is a no-brainer. Yeah. Uh, no-brainer. We'll, we'll proceed to a, with a public hearing on the, uh, the 13th of December. 
this at a public <coughs> hearing, but is there an opportunity to say a few things about this item? Uh, in workshop, I don't like to because uh, it can open a floodgate. So we, we just work with uh, the with, with pretty staff. small tonight. Pardon? The floodgate's pretty small tonight, Mr. Chairman. Uh, a floodgate's a floodgate, so uh, I that's, yes, yes, because I know uh, we granted, uh, I think, uh, with the uh, our CIP, and it kind of uh, wreaked, well. uh, wreaked havoc. So yeah. uh, that's how we've always treated our workshop sessions. There's no public input because basically the public is not warned about it. So the board but discusses it. Well, can I just ask, is the chair aware that this request has come from a, 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 a potential user? That this is because we made a submission? This is my first first exposure to it, Ari, so okay. I have no no idea. So I think if there's a uh, project proposal or anything, you'll need to go through conceptual discussion. And that way is at least that you get on the agenda and it can be, the public is, uh, is warned that we're having conceptual. Even though conceptual, there's still no public input. It's uh, just with the applicant. Okay. We, we were re requesting the zoning change. We have not put a concept for a project uh, before the planning board. I understand what you're saying. Yes, yeah, because we'll, we'll work with it with Kelly on this. We'll have a public hearing on December 13th, and then we could discuss it then. Is there any opportunity to do that sooner than the 13th? No. I, I just based off of the last workshop we had, Mr. Chair, that turned into public comment, I would say let's stay away from public comment at a workshop, please. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, as a rule, I, I haven't. I did did allow it, and uh, it opened a Pandora's box, and uh, I regret uh, doing it at this point. So, yeah, you end up going down the, uh, the rat hole. So it's, it doesn't work for either party. Because so. of course, people people are watching, and they say, "How come I didn't know about it?" You know, otherwise they would uh, it would be here, and th and that's usually with <coughs> workshop. And uh, conceptual, there's no <coughs> warning going to the public, you know, for like there is for a public hearing, so there's no two week notice. So then, so in this case, Kelly, would, would a potential applicant snapshot in time right now, it's not anywhere, it's not on any chart, it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. So, would a potential applicant need to go to ZBA? No. So, the applicant has used the defined process in the ordinance, which is to have the zoning administrator make essentially a determination or classify the use. <coughs> that has been done. They've the zoning administrator classified this as a hospital use. That's how they're defining. They view this use meeting that definition. Um, part of that classification process. Um, included the determination that it's not a permitted use uh, because it is not part of the permitted uses listed in the so ordinance. even ZBA couldn't help them there's potential to appeal that decision okay. um, to my knowledge that is not how the applicant wants to proceed okay I'm, just, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what what a potential applicant might or might not be able to do to try and expedite, um, so so the process the process for this is a little bit unprecedented, right? So this doesn't happen every day, but <coughs> the the process now is you have consensus here to, to do whatever it is you, you have to do. Mm -hmm. What is it that you have to do next? What, what's your next? This step? board needs to make a recommendation to the town council for them to consider when they go through the public hearing process. And then the town council would do that at their next regular meeting or whenever they can fit it into their agenda? Whenever the council has has the availability, it makes sense to consider a zoning amendment. Got it. <clears throat> and, then, and then it would be done, or then they have to do public hearings? and. At the council, them. typically it's, it's a first reading and then a hearing. Generally, the council waives the first reading and then holds a hearing at the following date. Okay, so at least a month out, maybe a month and a half. Uh, potentially, yeah. We have two holidays coming up. Okay. All right, the ho holiday season, and then really to get the uh, sufficient time for the uh, warning, because it has to be uh, 14 days. Uh, the 6th wouldn't work. It would be the, fourth, uh, the uh, 13th. Uh, 
be sufficient time uh, for the public uh, warning to uh, be, that's by statute. Yes, Lynn. <clears throat> so Kelly, do you know, are you aware if there's any regulations at the state level over letting hospitals build hosp new hospitals, letting, you know, an organization build a new hospital, you know, kind of looking <coughs> at the economic necessity to do so in a specific region? So I'm not, I'm not aware of specific regulation that would apply at the municipal level to essentially say you have to allow for this. Um, as no, I'm so, so my question is a little bit different than that. So <clears throat> there's a number of hospitals in this local area. You, know, yep. you got the Elliott and CMC and, and Parkland. You know, is, who determines the need for a new hospital? Is there any requirement at the state level that a company has to come in and say, here's the need for a new hospital? I assume there's some criteria Something like the PUC, at like the state the, level. You know, that a PUC type. There's, of, there's, a, there's a permitting process because yeah. I know. Uh, it's a needs assessment. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I don't know the specifics state. of what the state requires in terms of <clears throat> criteria that an applicant would need to present when proposing a hospital, but I <clears throat> would be willing to bet there are criteria. But yeah, you, probably, you, you probably have definition issues as well. What is a hospital? And what, <clears throat> what is not a hospital? What is until something's proposed, is it is it a hospital <coughs> by definition or not? Yep. So Do I remember an up, issue like that up. with that Elliot at Londonderry? That 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 end was it that that was a parcel of land in north in North Londonderry where they were gonna put in a nursing home. Yeah. Okay? And in the process for the state to make a decision whether they could build there or not, mm -hmm. it was opposed by another hospital and they were refused permission to build. I remember. Yep. Mr. Chairman, can I be heard? Yes, Mr. Chairman. So John Farrell, Chairman of the Town Council. Um, I became aware of this project and everything. I'm not sure if the Planning Board is actually aware, but the applicant can go straight to the Town Council and ask for the, for the change in the ordinance. They don't have to come through the Planning Board in this particular case. Yeah. So when I became aware of it and they wanted to go straight to the town council, I advised staff that I don't think that's a very good idea and that I would prefer that they move through the planning board. And that you know, coming to the council would not really follow the general process that we follow in the past. What I would ask is, is that the planning board would take into consideration that that is the step that was taken, that is the way that the council directed the town manager, and that if there's an opportunity to move this to the first meeting in December so that you know it can be noticed and you can hear it so that the applicant can try I try to move this forward whether it's going to pass or whether it's not or whether, whatever the case may be they did make want to go around the planning board not around the planning board they wanted they, they had the opportunity to go directly to the council and we asked them not to so I, I would ask that the board take that into consideration okay is there sufficient time to do it on the uh, hearing on the just the, uh, you know, definition. In the at December. the planning board? Yes. Do you want to have a public hearing at the planning board? Yes. Um, I could probably. I'll probably have to get yes. it out tomorrow. Yes, it's ten days, so I can swing that for the sixth yeah. meeting. But I mean, as the chairman of the council just said, we don't. It's not a requirement. We don't need to do that. So, I get. But I'll, you know. Can we, yeah. just, can't we just push but it in to other the town words, council we, on the 6th? In other words, or whatever no, I can't force sure the applicant to come back here on the 6th if they yeah. choose to no, proceed with the council. If they want to go to the town council. I mean, that's that's an option that they uh, they have. Um, uh, I don't think it's ever I mean, been done. One way or another, we're here for, you know, trying to get some consensus of how the board feels about it. Um, I think we should start with that. and. Your the, point. Vo the votes are here. To, to, I mean, to I, I your point, you know, let them go to the council. Yeah. <coughs> why? Why are we going through this extra step? Why yeah, are we? I mean, uh, I've, 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 I've just looked at the proposed amendments now. That I think uh, Ari uh, very graciously had sent a, uh, a letter to us, which I'm just uh, catching up on now. Uh, we had it a week ago. It would have been even uh, even better. But uh, it looks uh, it looks fine to me. I mean, I wouldn't have a, have a problem. I mean, no pro I'd like to expedite it, and however we have but to. But the, yeah. the only question is, is the uh, the public hearings on it? Uh, I don't want us to get into a legal entanglement that uh, 
is an incorrect procedure or anything, but it, it seems like so. You recommended coming to the planning board, which is what the council doing. likes process. Exactly. The council yeah. likes transparency. The council yeah. likes to have the applicants follow what everybody else follows. If they're going to come directly to the council, you know, the first thing the council is going to say is, is why don't you go to the planning board? So that's when the, when the manager asked for the council's you know point of view. The council's point of view is follow the process. My my simple request is is that is there a way that we can um, you know try to since the holidays are coming and they're trying to move this forward and it is an applicant that's behind this zoning change. Is the planning board amenable to moving it to the sixth? If you're not, don't move it to the sixth. <clears throat> follow your process. Don't yeah, be influenced I'm, by what I'm saying. I, and I'm not. What, what? Kelly says we can move it to the sixth. So okay. uh, move it to that the sixth. But, but, it, but it the sixth. Sixth. so John said to bring it to the planning board, which is what they're doing. If we, as a planning board, are okay with them taking it to the town council. Why do we need another meeting? That, that, that's he that, wants to go to the planning board first on the sixth. No, I, know, I, I, I understand that, but what, you know. Yeah. It is at the planning board. So you're going to make exceptions for every applicant that, that comes true. forward? Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, can, we can't make exceptions for every applicant just yeah. because they want to speed something up yep. and void our process. We're not, we're not making an exception. It's here. We haven't. We had the discussion. There's consensus that it's a good idea. So let's move it. You just heard the chairman of the town council. They want to stick with the process. We can move it to the sixth. The process That's what we can do. The process is a, is a public hearing and a recommendation by the planning board. Then it goes to the town council. So on the That's sixth, the, the public hearing. That's the process hearing. that we have always done things. And can I think where we, where we get into problems is when we do we need, don't a, do you need a motion? Process. You just need a consent. You just need a consensus. So the six. Move it to the six, and we have a public hearing. Six. It is. Yep. You got it. Just, yep. just to get this started, and the other. Well, it all depends upon the uh, what we have on the agenda. We could do the other It'll two. It'll be on there. We could do the other uh, two uh, public hearings uh, also. So we can lighten the load for the uh, the thirteenth. Just in time for the holidays. Just one meeting. <laughs> so yeah. so uh, Kelly. Well, Ben, also, how do you feel on the uh, the sixth for a public hearing? I have no issue with the logistics of noti noticing it. Okay, at all. that's the important part, right, right there. So the board is in agreement. We have a public hearing on the sixth of December. That's right. Yep. And we'll uh, consider all three, um, you know, uh, amendments to the zoning. Yep. And uh, the council will have it for their second meeting in. Uh, December. Okay. We will proceed. Any other other business? Seeing none. Motion to adjourn, oh, Mr. Chairman. Motion to adjourn. I can second. Second <coughs> by J uh, Jake. All those in favor of adjournment, signify by saying aye. 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 We are adjourned. <laughs>